Hi folks, I've just done another salt marsh. I've done it for my patrons. I did did an oil painting uh, showing uh, how to well how I paint uh, trees without any detail, just doing texture. And I've I've used um, well I've used that brush. I've used this uh, lovely number eight graduate data roundy flat. It doesn't look very flat, does it? But it's worn. Uh, Oh, there's just a couple of other bits and pieces, but it's, it's painted on mount card. It's probably it's, it's the insert when I cut one of these mounts or mats as you call them. Um, but don't waste them. You can paint on them. Well, I, I primed both sides. I've got one here. Uh, it's, it's a lovely size, a landscape size. A nice small picture, maybe. But when you prime, and this is primed with um, P no, with uh, white gesso with a, a stain of acrylic burnt, burnt umber. So that's solid, that, that's uh, impervious. And I, to, to sort of flatten it out, because it bends, to flatten it out I've given it a coat of, um, of uh, ordinary PVA glue. To, so that will go pretty flat. And, and durable, but remember that that uh, mount card is made from wood pulp, not linen or rag. So any acid in the paints or or the thinners that you use will eventually eat through the wood, and it will just fall apart. Uh, oh, it will take quite a time. But I saw a, a lovely demonstration by Sherry Valentine Danes. She's she's a lady. Um, a lady artist who has a very big, uh, quite a big re reputation in in England or in the UK as a uh, an impression, modern impressionist, super painting. She used to demonstrate doing portraits of her chairman of her art group, um, and I took my my daughter, son and daughter along. They were in their well, what, my daughter was probably six, and the son was about ten. And they were bored out of their minds because the first half was just roughing in, doing the portrait of her chairman sitting in a chair, painting away on the card, using a lot of white spirit uh, as a thinner. God knows what happens, happens to the paintings afterwards. But anyway, after the, uh, the, the tea break, coffee break, um, she started to bring it all together, and my children, my two kids, they ended up open mouthed. It was magical to see. Wonderful demonstration. We used to have Ted Wesson, but uh, he died after one. Uh, well, he, he died, and, and I only saw one of his demos. But our chairman at the time, Bert Houghton, uh, who was an art teacher in a school, uh, Used to, they were friends, they were both members of the Wapping Art Group, which is a prestigious art group in London. They, they paint anything, but, but they're known for painting the Thames and, and from London Bridge or Tower Bridge to Rotherhithe. Um, and that's what they do. Uh, uh, we've got a local artist here where I live uh, has, has been accepted as a member. Somebody else has got to die before there's a vacancy. But uh, Ted Wesson was, was a member and so was uh, Bert. And Bert used to buy his demonstrations for about £25. But over the years, Ted Wesson got quite collectible, especially when um, Rob Manson uh, did a book on him. And I've got three in total books on by Ted Wesson. Uh, and because uh, the <laughs> Bert's, uh, Ted Wesson uh, demos were worth quite a bit of money. I don't know what happened to them in the end, they both died, but I don't know where the pictures are now. But he was he was a wonderful demonstrator, as was uh, Sherry Valentine Deans. But in those days it was a big art club and, and we could afford to employ professional demonstrators because we're 90 members and we'd make a surcharge as well on the door. But they were always great evenings. Anyway, there we are, that's me salt marsh. Just these brushes, no detail, just the impression of detail and you get a painting quite quite quickly all right i'll see you in the week thanks for looking in bye bye